So I have a chair. That I found in the garbage. And I have a big old piece of leather. Let's go. What's up friends? Handyman Mark here. We're gonna make this chair hopefully nice. I don't know. We're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna take this off and you can see there used to be a back but I think I'm just gonna do a leather strap maybe leave a gap on each side and just staple it from underneath wrap completely around and completely around. Let's do it. Okay, I've located four screws. One, two, three, and four. And I believe that's what holds this seat on. Well, the seat's completely shot. Not completely shot. I mean, I could peel these apart, glue them back together. But I have another piece of cabinet grade plywood. It just happens to be exactly the right size. That's why you save all your scraps. This is some super thick leather. So, I don't know how much extra to give it. I don't want to waste a bunch of leather. I'm going to give it I'm going to give it extra just in case. Leather's already much more pliable. I'm gonna leave it in there for a little while. I'm gonna turn my attention to making the back piece. So I'm gonna measure that slot and this slot, and I think that's gonna be my dimensions. And it'll wrap around, wrap around, like I said, get stapled into an inconspicuous spot. All right, so I wanna wrap completely around this. It's about an inch, so I'll count this as one, two, three inches. We'll add three to this side. And this is about three inches. I'll count this as one, that's three, that's four, and five inches. So we'll add eight total inches to our height. So we have 14, that brings us up to 22 inches, overall height. Then we'll make a mark down five inches. That'll be here, no, here, no, here. Here, here, yeah. I have this top slot at seven inches. And the bottom slot is five and five eighths. And I come up three inches. All right, got my lines laid out. Made a center line. So I measured equal distance, equal distance. And then I squared this up. All right, into the water. This piece is getting much more pliable. Uh, shoemakers say to let the leather soak overnight, and that's on thin shoe grade leather. That's how you can get that nice round toe. Now we're gonna turn our attention to the wood. I'm gonna sand this whole thing. You can see the old polyurethane falling right off. So, I'm gonna sand this and get a coat of polyurethane on it. We are 
are using a very dark stain. I got it soaked in stain, and you take a fairly clean rag. And you wipe off the excess. All right, we'll give it about an hour to dry. Now we're gonna coat it with polyurethane. Now we're gonna work from the top down. Try to get out all the runs. Put the nice finish on it. And try to brush always with the green. That'll, that'll hide the brush marks. Let me see if I can show this on camera. My staples will probably be fine. I have that leather plus the padding. But what I plan on doing is turning the stapler on an angle so the staples don't come out the other side. This is the Harbor Freight staple gun. Very affordable. The leather has been soaking overnight. And it is quite a bit more pliable. But I noticed one edge is much stiffer than the other. This is very hard on this side. This may be close to the back of the cow, where the leather's thick. This might be closer to the belly. And, but we're gonna use it. There's our new plywood seat pan we made yesterday. Get that down. There's the padding. It's already gotten a little wet from my test fitting. But this will all dry out nicely. So there's the plan. I gotta get all these pulled, staple, have to do some re leaf cuts on the corners. Use pliers. I got these. These are antique, just for leather. So for shoemaking. Put them on, pry it. This would have to be a lot smaller. But we're just gonna use regular pliers. Number one.
All right. There's our back piece. Two's been soaking overnight. Still got our marks on there. Let's get her installed. First thing we'll do, do a little test fit. As you can see, it's gonna go around just like that. All right, it's been five days. The leather is finally dry. This leather back here dried fast. And it got super tight. This leather, because of the padding, and of course it's sealed in plywood underneath, just took forever to dry. And uh, see how the corners came out. A little, little puckering. But it's very difficult to work with this thick of leather. So. So I'm going to try to stain, dye the leather, just to darken it up, get these edges real dark, and then we're going to wax it. Here it goes. We call this a dauber. Just take the rag and I keep rolling it in on itself. Dauber. All right, here goes. I'm gonna do the back of the chair and I'm gonna use the China bristle brush chip brush I don't know I'm doing this so I can flood into these hard to reach areas with the dauber plus I want this to be very dark back here you can see that's the suede side or the split side how much dye that thing sucks up But I like the contrast between the very dark and the very light. It's just the way I like it. I'm just gonna let this wax heat up in the hot Florida sun. The wax is getting hotter. The sun is working in my favor. Uh, what we used to do with shoe shine would be in a tin like this, light it on fire, put the cover on, put the flame out, and this would be liquid. Then you could just rub it on. But I'm doing it sort of slow way.
I'm gonna try to buff this all in. The heat of the sun, you can see it's it's really starting to melt. And I'm gonna buff it out. This is your standard. Uh, oh, this one's from Red Wings. But it's a regular shoe polish brush. All right, final step is to reinstall the screws that hold the seat bottom on. There's another cool feature of this chair. Back in the camper, here's our folding chair. I'm very unfamiliar with this thing. Make sure it's locked in. And it is. There's the new home. Now I can edit my videos in comfort and style. Out of the trash. 